Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is episode 57, Unwind Dates. All right, hey, today's question. Uh, they have dates like this, 1997 to 1999 over here in column A, and we want to convert that to a sequential list of dates. I'm sure that Mike is going to use an amazing formula here, uh, but I am not. Let's make my head hurt. I'm going to just jump right out to VBA, a few lines of code. Uh, we'll do this. And we say for each cell in selection, that allows me to select the range that contains those values. Uh, start year is the left of that cell for 4, end year is the right of that cell for 4. And uh, for some reason, they left a blank column there. That's why I start with my counter of 2. And then I have a simple little 4 next loop. If you've ever had any class in programming, you get this for i equals start year to end year. Now, each time through this loop, i tells us which year we're looking at. All right, so I know that I want to write the number, for example, 1997 in a cell. What cell do I want to use? Well, I'm going to start from the current cell dot offset. Offset says, hey, we're going to go some number of rows down, some number of columns over. Well, no rows down in this case, uh, and then counter CTR, that variable, uh, rows over, and it's going to be equal to the year. Then I'm going to bump counter up by one. And so let's see in that first case, what do we have? We have from 1997 to 1999, it's going to go through this loop three times. One, two, three, 97, 98, 99. And then when it goes back to the next cell, well, we'll get a new start year, new end year, and reset counter to B2. So let's just try this here. I select those cells, Alt F8, run our spill dates macro, and bam, there we are. Just uh, fill it in as easy as that. All right, easier than Mike's formula. Mike, you're going to impress us all with this amazing formula. Let's see what you've got. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Impress. That VBA impresses. Simple and beautiful. Uh, but I don't know VBA, so I'm going to have to stick with a formula here. All right, uh, let's look at this text, right? A year, dash, year. Well, just like Mr. Excel's VBA, I can do the left function for and get the begin year, and the right function of the right four characters from the right, and get the end, and then do something with that. So let's start with the left. Left. I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to take the left of that, and I need to lock this so when I go this direction, it's locked on that, so I'm going to hit F4 three times. Ah, but when I copy it down, I don't want the row reference locked. I want that to move down to there, so that'll work. Comma four. All right, let's just enter this and see something right off the bat. You see it's a line to the left. That means it's text, and that will be important uh, later in our formula. Now, we want to, as we copy this it, this direction, go from 1997 to 1998 to 1999. So I'm going to add, um, and this is a formula element that increments a single number as you copy it to the side. I'm going to use the columns function, and I'm sitting in C1. So I'm going to type dollar sign C1, colon C1. Now, columns says, hey, how many columns are there from C to C? There's one. This is locked. This is not. So when it copies to the side, that C will turn to a D. And how many columns are there from C to D? Two. Copy this over here. Ah, there's two problems. One is it started one year too late, and it didn't turn off. It's showing 2000 and 2001, and I only want it to go up to 99. So I'm going to simply subtract one. So I just subtracted one there and then copy it over. All right, that gets solves the problem of starting on the right year, but now we need to turn it off. We need a blank anytime the formula goes further that direction. Well, we can notice that we have our years. This is changing years as we go this direction. So we can use the if function and compare this to right 4. So I'm going to say if the right of this and the same F4 three times, 4, any time that there is less than. So this left construction here is given us successively bigger years. As soon as we see the end year is less than this, then what do we want? That's the logical test, true or false. I'm going to say comma, double quotes, because I want to show a double uh, blank. Otherwise, if that's uh, false, then we want control V. I just pasted that. Now that ought to work. Control enter. 
double click and drag it over. Ooh, but there's a problem. And it has to do with the fact that text and numbers are considered different things. So if I click here and run Formula Evaluator, Alt-T-U-F, Formula Evaluators on the uh, Formula tab. If I run this, enter, 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 enter. Right now, you can see there's text and in double quotes, which means that Excel thinks it's text, and a regular number. They can't be um, compared. They're different things. And so Excel doesn't know what to do. No problem. We're just going to convert this. And by the way, you could hit F9 and prove to yourself double quotes means that's text, not a number. I'm going to Control Z. We could simply add 0. Anytime you do an operation on text that's a number, it'll convert it to a number. That's why, by the way, over here, the left originally gave us a text. But as soon as we added these numbers here, it converted it to a number. Now we can highlight this and hit the F9 key. And we can see we get a number. So we'll get a number here and here. We can compare them, and the formula will work. Control Enter, and drag it over and down. And it looks like, sure enough, we got 1, 2, 3. And it turned off after there, 92 to 2,000. Sure enough, all the way over there. And obviously, you'd copy this however far over you need. One other interesting note, we converted this one right here to a number, so number compared to a number. But we could have done this. And I think I like the plus 0 better. But we could have done this, ampersand double quote. That means now this has been converted to text, F9. Control Z. And then this one right here is text, F9, and it works. All right, uh, throw it back over to Mr. Excel. Mike, that was incredible. I loved it. I thought you were going to have to use an array formula uh, even better than what I thought you were going to do. So excellent. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.